One of the people who truly changed the face of ham radio in both the 20th and 21st centuries has gone to his final reward. This with the sad news that Dr. Wayne S. Green II, W2NSD of Hancock, New Hampshire, died September 13th at the age of 91. Dr. Green was an outspoken figure during his many years writing about the hobby. His public career really began with a five-year stint at CQ Magazine in the 1950s before founding 73 Magazine in late 1959. While at the helm of 73, he also used the title of El Supremo and founder of the magazine, which he published until 2003. Over the years, Dr. Green was known for many things. He traveled the world and did his best to introduce ham radio in developing nations. He was one of the earliest supporters of emerging modes such as RTTY, FM, and repeaters, and even started the first ham radio digital communications magazine. And as each new technology came along, there was W2NSD as its point man, urging all of us, to embrace the same dreams that he had, be it ham radio, personal computing, the compact disc, or numerous other technologies. There was Wayne Green urging anyone who would listen to give it a try. But what Wayne Green, W2NSD, will likely be best remembered for was his editorials. He wrote over a thousand of them, covering everything from giving his personal support to even the most mundane aspects of our hobby to alternate science such as his belief in producing energy through cold fusion. The list of what he wrote goes on and on. It took a lifetime for him to write it, and for many of us, it took a good part of our lifetimes to read. And in the process, his zest for life and commitment to ham radio and technology changed both for the better. On his blog, Dr. Green left a short note for all of us. It was his final entry. Please permit me to read it to you as it sums up the life of the man as he saw himself. We quote, The wall clock clicks out the seconds with so many yet ahead. I've ignored them. A battery keeps the clock going. I wonder how my own battery is doing. The one with the most toys wins. A wash in toys, I'll pass on what did I win. Now, what happens to all my toys? I leave books, records, tapes, and photos by the thousands. A lifetime archive, worthless to anyone but me. Pictures of family and friends. Treasured books and music the mileposts of my life, all will be headed for the trash heap. Like my father, my grandfather, and great-grandfather, I'll be another gravestone in the northern New Hampshire cemetery, and the world will carry on as if nothing had happened. I have no complaints. I've enjoyed the world and helped it a bit. What would I change if I could do my life over? Get me a thick pad and I'll make you a list. To which we'll add, 73 Wayne, we'll see you once again on the other side of the great ethereal abyss. For the Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Bill Pasternak, WA6ITF, remembering the years gone by.